takes courage to confront inner challenges, also takes courage to confront outer challenges. There are a lot of outer challenges that require real courage, not just looking in on ourselves, though that's important sometimes, but looking out. In this country, a huge one is that our elites who have taken all that power feel no responsibility to our American traditions or the American people broadly. They consider the American people to be deplorable, irredeemable, bitter clinging rubes and idiots and neo-Nazis who should not be able to speak in public, up to and including the former president of the United States. Donald Trump gave a speech at CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference, where he talked about many of the problems facing the country, questions about the election, what he might do in 2024. YouTube will not permit this video on the internet. So there was a a channel, just one channel among many, posted the video. They had it taken down. They were not, not allowed to broadcast it. Then there was a question, was it just this channel or is YouTube more broadly? YouTube has now clarified. They've said that unless users add countervailing viewpoints about Trump's speech, they won't allow Trump's speech up there. So for instance, I could play Trump's speech right now on this channel as long as after he talks, I say, he's wrong. He's bad. Orange man bad. If I do that, then I'm allowed to have Trump's speech on YouTube. But if I don't, or if I say, yeah, well, I made some pretty good points, that video will be taken down. YouTube says, we enforce our community guidelines consistently, regardless of speaker or political leaning. They're just as consistent, I think, as the Washington Post. Joe Biden showers money on Americans. Trump braces us all for economic pain. In accordance with our established presidential election integrity policy, established as of what, like five minutes ago, which prohibits content uploaded after the safe Harvard deadline claiming widespread fraud uh, changed the outcome of the 2020 U.S. presidential election, we removed this video from RSBN. They're, they're barely even mustering a justification for this. They never took down any videos of Stacey Abrams and other people claiming that that election was stolen because Stacey Abrams is a Democrat. They never took down any videos of Hillary Clinton and other prominent Democrats claiming that that election was stolen after the safe harbor deadline because those people are Democrats. But they will take down any, any speech that they find threatening to their political agenda from Donald Trump or other Republicans because they enjoy the privileges of being elites and controlling the flow of information around the internet, but they have no sense of responsibility to the American way of life. They actually don't like those American traditions. They want to get rid of those and institute their own new guidelines. This is the thesis of my book, which I explain in painstaking detail. It's called Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds. I I actually do sort of suspect that this book is going to face censorship from the left. Not because it's some outrageous, raucous, shock jock kind of book. It's not at all. But I think that's actually the point. The book very consistently shows you what the left has done, how the development of this political correctness and this censorship is different than conservatives have traditionally understood it. And, and the book, I think, explains how if we, if we want to fight it effectively, which we haven't done for now 100 years, uh, we need to radically change course. I think they're probably going to go after that sort of thing. So I recommend you pre-order it, by the way, uh, before, before they take it down. Because the left is now emboldened to use their privilege to stop any threats to their rule. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit the subscribe button so everyone waiting through the wasteland of YouTube knows that we've got the absolute top content out there. 